from Timmy. He escaped a dictatorial regime in Romania, and he feels just the way we do about the fake news. He's serious about freedom. He got here with his family in suitcases. Everybody get up for Timmy. Okay, guys, my name is Tibi Sente, and I cannot believe after 31 years I have to demonstrate here against socialism and fascism. I escaped from one socialist dictatorial regime, Romania, in uh, 1989. And uh, socialist is not what the media and the Democrats and the left parties try to tell you. Uh, they give an example. Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, but just to know that uh, countries are based on capitalist ideology, not on socialism. What they did, they decide to share 70% uh, from their salary uh, for one social program, but not socialist, social program. So, uh, socialists, there are many versions, but all of them take the private property from you and take over the government and the government gonna tell you what to do and how to do and the government take over the schools the newspaper tv station banks and everything so and how they start they promise they're gonna share and give everything to everybody and uh, when they were not able to uh, accomplish what they promise then decide to don't step back from the power, they decide to close down the country and take over with force everything what we had. I'm one of the product which uh, we have three generations we suffer in socialism. It was my grandfather and my dad and I was the guy who I decided to escape. Uh, and the socialists, if you are not with the government, they take everything from you. And on the beginning, uh, my grandfather was against to share his uh, farm with the party and they sent him in Gulag, he punished them. He was punished because he don't agree with that ideology and uh, my mom and all my family suffered in generations because that. My mom was not able to go to school because they were, she was punished because my grandfather was against socialists and so on. It's like a very dangerous chain and here start to be the same thing. So, uh, whatever happened here used to happen in Romania, and not just there, in other 65 countries. This socialist was tested, and doesn't work, and never gonna work. And uh, uh, what is the goal of the socialists? The goal of the socialists is to uh, few percent of the people take over the 98% of the people and uh, they have nice lives and they can do everything what they want and the other 98% to be locked down in the country and just, just live like the animals. So after then they got even smarter, they said, okay, now we start with the communists. Communists is one beginning, uh, it's one next step of the socialists, it's not two things, next step. And they decide the communist was the meaning to generate the next generation of the people who accept everybody sleep in the same big buildings, use the same car, eliminate the money, and uh, don't make business with the foreign countries and just be happy, guys. That doesn't work, at least for me. So everybody who was against the socialists and you just are saying you don't agree with your president, uh, in the next morning, the uh, security, how is here, the FBI, they just break in and uh, put you in the jail. No lawyers, of course, and uh, you disappear forever. So, uh, this socialist is not a joke, and it doesn't work. And if you like free stuff, go in Cuba, Venezuela, North Korea. Yeah. If you want to fight and you want to prove by yourself and do better by by yourself without nobody's help, That's right. going com uh, capitalist. That's right. So, what? In my case, I had three options: one, to work for like one crazy, work more, and be crazy, don't expect too much. Option two, 
step back, don't do nothing, copy it like the other lazies. Usually the free guys are like, uh, they are kind of lazy because they like free stuff. So be lazy and the government gonna pay you either way. Or the third option is risk your life and go in one free society where your way of life and way of work gonna decide your, how, how far you can accomplish your goal. So I want an example of these guys who socialist was not working for me and I decided to risk my life and I run away from socialist and from free stuff and uh, I start in the uh, US with two kids, two luggages and wife and God and uh, the system works guys and the socialist doesn't work and here I had the chance, I work five days, three jobs uh, after then we open our company uh, we bought our house, we sent our kids to UCLA, to colleges, and then after 18 years we realized California is not good for us and I escaped from California again. <laughs> <laughs> so, after, after 18 years I decided to come here in South Carolina. Thank you guys for everything. And, uh, blessed to be here and I feel blessed to have the chance and the opportunity to come here and um, uh, we try to integrate in this society and in, in generally when we come here we start to speak Romanian, we start to speak English, I still I have accent but my job was to make money and my wife to learn English with my two boys right. and uh, together we were able to make the next step and accomplish the American dream and uh, how we got here after 80 years in California. We went there with two luggages. I come back with uh, 15 trucks. So. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is the value. If you work, you can accomplish. And all these people who cry, uh, they beg and want free stuff. They are losers. And I want example without English, uh, without relationships here, without. Uh, um, affirmative action without all this help from government we were able to accomplish our, our dream with my kids and with my wife together and god yeah. so if we were able to do it everybody can do it and what i can tell you i'm blessed to be here it's this is my dream um, uh, come true with south carolina we are conservatives family value christians and um, uh, everything is good for business so therefore, uh, I just want to let you know, America is not perfect, but it's, it's uh, the best. And since I got here, I tell to everybody, and I share it with you too, uh, from here, I promise you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run anymore. Right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fight with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. so we can adjust in case there are some problems. But we don't have to change everything what makes us different than other countries. It just doesn't make right. sense. And go back in some systems which actually doesn't work. So I'm blessed to be here. God bless you guys. And I really see we have to fight. And I told you, I fight from here. I promise I'm not leaving South Carolina because no reason to go in other places, no better place. But we have to fight. And uh, we cannot accept the socialist stuff, which never worked. And uh, if you like to work, if you like freedom, if you like, uh, if you don't like socialists, if you don't like uh, fascists, if you don't like globalists, go Trump. Yeah.